Booker T and The Undertaker kicked things off here tonight at Unforgiven in the WWE Championship Elimination Chamber matchup. Two men that have never before held the WWE Championship got to start from the bottom, and now they're here. You have to recognize they're at a clear disadvantage compared to the other four superstars who are starting off in the pods. 12 seconds in, Undertaker already making Booker T realize just how hard that steel is outside of the ring. Let's also remember, too, these two men are no strangers to the Elimination Chamber. You have to have experience stepping inside the chamber. It is one of, if not the most brutal and hellacious structures in WWE history. Oh, my God. Booker T's back, banging off the seal outside the ring, and Undertaker getting dirty, rubbing that forearm right into the face of Booker T. The steel structure already taking its toll on the body of Booker T. You have to be a savage. You have to be... Brutal in this matchup to survive. Undertaker Whoa. from the top of the pod. Look no further oh than the dead goodness. man. Take it full advantage. Could we see a tombstone on the steel? Oh no, Booker T. He has a family, Undertaker. He has a family. No. Oh, oh my God. My goodness. And just like that, the champion enters the matchup. But Booker T, could we be saying goodbye? Oh, it's Cena, Cena breaks it up. up. Oh my goodness. He wants the pleasure of taking out every man inside the chamber. He told me before the matchup started in a WWE.com exclusive, Cena wants to take out every man inside the chamber Undertaker, by himself. Oh, Undertaker from the top of the pod. But you got to realize that's not great strategy on the part of the champion. He should have let Undertaker get that pin. Well, it's a very cocky and arrogant mindset, but do you expect anything less from John Cena? John Cena has been one of the most cocky and arrogant men on this roster for the better part of two years now. Well, let's not forget also, it was also this very event two years ago, the day after the show, he dropped the WWE Championship after holding it for a near year, the longest reigning WWE Champion in history, also holding it for a record setting nine times. Undertaker really putting a hurt on Booker T and John Cena right now. You gotta pick the dead man as one of the men with the clear advantage in this match. And just like that, his brother, his little demon brother, Kane, enters the action. The same man who defeated both The Undertaker and Booker T consecutive pay-per-views at Vengeance and SummerSlam. Can he do the same here tonight? Oh my goodness, we're seeing a lot of aerial action here from the dead man. He's trying to use that as, to, as an advantage here tonight. A lot of people expecting him to stay in the ground game. Use that power he's got. Use those quick strikes. DDT from Cena on the skull of Kane right into the steel. Goodness, this action, every year this action is just crazy. It's chaotic. Hard to keep up with at times. Seen from the top rope. Oh my gosh, applies the elbow to Booker T and Undertaker. Booker T looks like he is in a bad way after taking that tombstone on the steel from the Undertaker. Cena can't give it away all early. Oh, wait, wait, look at this, look at this. Oh my god, Kane up for the Kane up for the FU. And he hits it He's right outside it. of the pod. Right on top of the steel. Make the cover, damn it. He's getting cocky. Cena. Too cocky for his own good, even. DX members, the last enter, and here comes Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels, the former WWE Champion, one-time WWE Champion, won it back at Vengeance and dropped it at SummerSlam to the current champ, John Cena. Holding that WWE title for a very short period of time, for the only time. Can he make it a second time here tonight? Now we oh, look at this, look at this! Oh, going for a roll up here! Booker and T's HBK gone! quickly eliminates his Texas brethren, Booker T. He is out of the match. Booker T's WWE title aspirations have come to an end. Just like that, we're down to five guys in this match, but one, the game, Triple H, very lucky he has not yet come out of the pod. Now, Graham, when you talk about this match, you can't forget about the tension that's happened between D-Generation X as of late, between Shawn Michaels and Triple H. Well, specifically those two men, but in general, just all five men. All five men have such bad blood between each other. Specifically, Kane and Undertaker, Booker T, we just saw there, going at it with Kane. John Cena has something against both members of D-Generation X, but like you said, the dissolving friendship between Shawn Michaels and Triple H, and speaking of whom, he enters the fray. Triple H, the sixth and final man to enter into this elimination chamber. He has a clear stamina advantage as he has not exerted any energy thus far, but Cena targeting the fresh man Triple H quickly with the right hand of the face. Time to play the game, but Triple H is down and out. Can Shawn Michaels take advantage? Will they go out of here? And they do, wasting no time! Goodness. D-Generation X imploding in front of our eyes. Last week on Monday Night Raw, we saw Shawn Michaels teasing that super kick on Triple H, never actually hitting it though. Oh, and Kane from the pod crash and burns on the steel floor. We saw it a few weeks ago, Shawn Michaels and Triple H. Wait, wait, look at this, look at this! Undertaker over the pin! Kane's out of here! Undertaker exact revenge! Oh my goodness, 
Well, we know who the superior brother is now. Undertaker looking to score his first ever WWE Championship. Kane is down and out after dominating Monday Night Raw for months. He's gone. Triple H still very healthy, has not exerted a lot of energy, has not sustained a lot of punishment here. The WWE Champion remains, despite entering at number three. Oh my gosh, Triple H applying that leg bar to Shawn Michaels. Debilitating maneuver and he lets go. Well, Undertaker goes at it with John Cena on the side there. First ever in-ring encounter between these two men in such an environment inside the cell. Well, this is such a hellacious and sadistic environment, and The Undertaker is the last person you want to be in that ring with. Oh my gosh, Shawn Michaels, pop! Triple H from the steel oh wall. Oh my goodness. That Triple H seem, feeling the effects. That didn't seem too tag team friendly on HBK's part. No love loss between these two men going at it for weeks on end. Tonight's the culmination of it all. What if one man eliminates the other? Oh my gosh, Graham, I'm sorry, excuse me, but John Cena has just exited the exited the ring. The WWE champion what is out! I missed I didn't see any. Neither did I! Ball. I'm guessing that the champ tapped out to the Undertaker. But Graham, oh my goodness, we're going to have a new WWE Champion here a tonight. A new champion is guaranteed. Cena must have passed out. He could have suffered an injury. Well, the referees are escorting him back to the locker room. And just like that, D-Generation X and the oh, Undertaker no. going at it. Undertaker! Triple H trying to save his friend, but to no avail. Taker's too powerful. Ignore the Triple tombstone. tombstone pile driver, HBK. Triple H picking him back up and throwing him to safety. Saving his friend, but for how long? Trying to get HBK out of the way. He wants to focus on The Undertaker. But Triple H realizes he's the fresher man, so he thinks that he has a better shot against him. What if it came down to both members of D-Generation X? We could see that. We could very well see that. Or Triple H and The Undertaker, or Triple H and uh, Undertaker, Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker. Match or, uh, matchups we haven't seen too often here on Monday Night Raw. Ever. Here we go. Ring around the rosy between these three men. John Cena's gone. Have you missed it? New WWE Champion will be crowned here tonight at Unforgiven. Ooh, what a close line of the game. Taker picking up the scraps in need of the gut. Triple H just at the mercy of the Undertaker here. But Shawn Michaels like a little woodpecker just getting involved in the action. Undertaker up to the top rope. We don't see that too often. Oh, and a leg drop to the back of the head. Very John Cena-esque. And it Michaels the moonsault. Just catches, Taker. just catches the Undertaker there. Or, uh, HBK with a lot of momentum, excuse me, but Triple H sidelines him to the steel floor. Taker goes after the heartbreak kid on the outside. Can he capitalize in the down Shawn Michaels? Undertaker, the least fresh out of all the men, and oh my oh. gosh! Debilitating, just debilitating. Oh my god! Oh, but he misses, crash, and Burns gets right back up. Keep your eye on Triple H. And they're fighting on the cage wall. Triple oh. H! Down on the Undertaker. And oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! In the pin! Oh! oh Triple H breaks it up. He wants to be the man to pin the Undertaker. He doesn't want to give HBK that credit. Best friends, bitter enemies. Our D Generation X here tonight. And Undertaker going to work on the injured Shawn Michaels. All three of these men have felt the toll that Elimination Chamber has taken on them. Oh, a DDT onto the steel, but can we take one more look at that moonsault from Incredible. the top of the pod onto the Undertaker? HBK sacrifice his body. Oh my god, oh my god! And back to the action. Triple H with the pedigree onto the steel. HBK busted wide open. He's playing the gusher. Michaels and is gone. John Michaels is out. Will it be Triple H or will it be the Undertaker here in Tennessee? Here at WWE Unforgiven. Just about nine minutes in to this main event matchup here tonight. Shawn Michaels' dreams of becoming WWE Champion again have been crushed. Undertaker, the first man to enter Triple H, the last. Graham, who do you got here? Arguably, Undertaker, the greatest man to never hold the WWE Championship. That dream could become a reality tonight. But Triple H is hungry to win his sixth WWE Championship. Yeah, now if Triple H has anything to say about it, you can never underestimate, you can never count out the Cerebral Assassin, who right now is playing mind games with The Undertaker, showing that he's clearly the fresher of the two men, bouncing between the pod, the ring, and the outside. Let's try to digest what we just saw. Triple H taking out his best friend, the man who has claimed on multiple occasions he wants back the WWE title and will stop at nothing to get back that belt. Look at he this! He came over the pin after a knee to the top rope! Triple H, Triple H is the new WWE Champion! 
My goodness! We've got a new WWE Champion in the game, Triple H, pinning Booker T, Shawn Michaels, and The Undertaker. What a turn of events. It is indeed all about the game and how you play it, and Triple H just played it to perfection. The sixth man to enter the chamber, the last man to stand inside of it, your new sixth time. WWE Champion. Absolutely incredible. What a match, John, that we've witnessed here tonight between six of the greatest of all time. We've got a new WWE Champion and overall incredible event here tonight at Unforgiven in Tennessee. The Undertaker was just so close, but Triple H did not allow the Deadman to realize his WWE Championship aspirations. What does this mean for tomorrow night on Monday Night Raw, Grant? It's anyone's guess. We'll find out in less than 24 hours. Alive on the USA Network. It will be Monday Night Raw, all the fallout tomorrow night. But this was Unforgiven. Thanks for watching with us, and we'll see you tomorrow night live on Monday Night Raw. From Tennessee, I'm John Napolitano, alongside my partner, Graham GSM Matthews. Good night!